we take scrap material, we melt it down, then we send it through the rolling mill and we make rebar and we make T-post and then we ship it out. Tell them, hey, mommy has a really good career. Totally like generated I over and over again. And we just keep, we're a mini mill. We have some micro mills. Bridges, buildings, any kind of roads. The new Texas Ranger Stadium all has our rebar. Family in Steel, Texas that retired from there. My grandpa retired from there. I have an uncle in Steel, Arizona. It's in the blood. You know, I like it. I love it. it never CMC always recognizes hard work. Every day, mountains of scrap metal are tossed aside. Forgotten relics of old cars, demolished buildings, and decommissioned machines. But what if we told you these discarded metals are being reborn as one of the most essential materials in modern construction? Welcome to the world of rebar, steel reinforcement bars that form the invisible skeleton of buildings, bridges, and highways. And in this video, we're taking you inside an eco-friendly steel factory to see how tons of scrap metal are transformed into high-strength rebar, ready to support the weight of the modern world. Stay tuned to discover the incredible journey from junkyard to construction site. Steel is the most recycled material on Earth. In fact, over 70% of rebar in the US is made from recycled scrap metal. And that's not just good economics, it's a sustainability win. At the heart of this transformation is a type of facility known as an electric arc furnace, EAF steel mill. Unlike traditional blast furnaces, EFs don't rely on iron ore or coal. Instead, they use electricity to melt down existing steel, cutting carbon emissions by as much as 75%. In this video, we visit Greenform Metals, one located of the most advanced, eco-friendly steel plants in the world, just outside of Houston, Texas. The journey begins at the scrapyard. Each day, truckloads of ferrous scrap arrive at the factory. This includes shredded car bodies, demolition debris, steel beams, industrial castoffs. A crane equipped with an electromagnetic claw lifts the material and sorts it, removing non-ferrous metals and contaminants. The selected steel is then sent to a pre-processing area, where it's shredded and sized to ensure consistent melt quality. Once sorted, the scrap is carefully weighed and conveyed to the furnace loading area. Now comes the heart of the process, the electric arc furnace. This massive vessel is lined with heat-resistant bricks and equipped with graphite electrodes that can generate temperatures over 3,000 Farrigers, 1,650 degrees. As the electrodes lower into the furnace, a powerful electric arc forms, creating a plasma field that melts the scrap metal in minutes. This process is not only fast, it's efficient. Thanks to renewable electricity sources like solar and wind, Greenform Metals achieves near zero carbon emissions during melting. Once melted, the liquid steel, called molten metal, is tapped into a giant ladle and transported to the next phase. But raw molten metal isn't ready to become rebar just yet. It needs refining. The ladle enters the Ladle Metallurgy Furnace, LMF, where engineers fine-tune the chemistry of the steel. By adding small amounts of carbon, manganese, and vanadium, they adjust the strength and ductility. Impurities like sulfur and phosphorus are removed using fluxes. The process is closely monitored by metallurgists who take regular samples to ensure the steel meets strict ASTM standards for rebar. Once the composition is perfect, the steel is ready to solidify. Next up, continuous casting. Molten steel is poured into a mold that quickly cools it into a semi-solid shape, typically a square billet about six to eight inches wide. The billet then travels through a series of rollers and water sprays to fully solidify while maintaining its shape. This continuous casting method is faster and more efficient than traditional ingot casting, with virtually no waste. 
The red hot bills are then cut to length and sent to the reheat furnace for the final forming stage. This is where the transformation really takes shape. The bills re-enter a reheat furnace to bring them back to a pliable temperature. From there, they're fed through a series of rolling stands that progressively shape them into long, slender rods, each one with a ribbed surface to help concrete grip the steel. The ribs are not just aesthetic, they're engineered for maximum adhesion in concrete. Depending on the final use, the rebar is rolled into different diameters, typically ranging from 3, 3 8 inches to number 18, 2.257 inch. The rods are then cut to standard lengths, usually 20 or 40 feet, and moved to the cooling bed. Before any rebar leaves the plant, it undergoes a series of rigorous tests. Each batch is sampled and checked for tensile strength, bendability, chemical composition, corrosion resistance. Only when it passes all quality control metrics is the rebar certified and stamped with a unique mill code, allowing for full traceability from melt to shipment. Once cooled and inspected, the rebar is bundled, tagged and stored in massive outdoor yards. From here, it's loaded onto trucks or rail cars and sent across the country to skyscraper projects in New York, bridge repairs in California, and new housing developments in the Midwest. Each bundle represents not just a batch of steel, but a triumph of recycling, engineering, and environmental innovation. As the world races to decarbonize, industries like construction and steelmaking must evolve and facilities like Greenform Metals are leading the way. By recycling scrap, using clean electricity, and deploying smart automation, they prove that heavy industry doesn't have to be heavy on the planet. In fact, every ton of recycled steel used saves 1,400 pounds of iron ore, 2,400 pounds of coal, 120 pounds of limestone, and reduces greenhouse gas emissions by nearly 60% compared to virgin steel production. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of steel recycling, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our next video, where we go inside a factory turning waste plastic into highway asphalt. It spins at over 1200 revolutions per minute. It handles over 20 pounds of soaking wet fabric without breaking a sweat. It blends software sensors and sheer mechanical force to perform a task we depend on every single day. But behind this everyday convenience lies a world of laser precision, robotic engineering, and industrial strength. This is not just a washing machine. This is a triumph of modern manufacturing. Today, we go behind the scenes inside one of the world's most advanced factories to see how cold steel becomes a spinning marvel of technology. This is Top Discovery 4K. And this is how washing machines are made. The journey begins with steel, cold, coiled, and heavy. Each roll weighs up to 20 tons and contains hundreds of feet of high-grade galvanized steel. This isn't just any metal. It's engineered for strength, durability, and corrosion resistance built to endure years of vibration, water, and friction. The coil is fed into a decoiler and leveling machine, which flattens out every curve and crease. Precision matters. Even a one millimeter deviation can cause the final product to fail under pressure. Next, high-powered laser cutters carve the steel into panels destined to become the sides, base, and top covers of the washing machine. Each piece is programmed down to the micron, this isn't rough manufacturing, it's industrial origami. Then come the hydraulic bending stations. Here, robotic arms feed each sheet into precision presses, which bend and fold the steel with force equivalent to a car crash, yet with millimeter control. These complex angles aren't just for looks. They add structural strength, so the machine can handle the violent force of a high-speed spin without shaking apart. Each part comes together to form the chassis, the skeleton of the machine. And just like in nature, the skeleton must be both rigid and flexible, able to support heavy loads while absorbing constant vibration. Every weld is tested, every edge deburred. The result, a frame built to last over a decade of daily use. From raw coil to rigid frame, it all begins with steel. Strong, silent, precise. And this is just the beginning.
Inside every washing machine lies its beating heart. The inner drum, a polished cylinder that spins, shakes, and swirls your laundry clean. It may look simple, but this drum is a product of high-precision engineering. First, a sheet of stainless steel is fed into a perforation press. Thousands of tiny holes are punched at lightning speed. They're not random. Each one is perfectly spaced to allow just the right balance of water flow and fabric protection. These holes let water in and out during the cycle, but they're also crucial for drainage, spinning force, and even energy efficiency. Once punched, the sheet is rolled into a perfect cylinder. Then a TIG welder, using a pinpoint arc of electricity, fuses the seam to create a flawless joint. No bumps, no gaps, because even the tiniest imperfection could shred your clothes or cause imbalance. End rings are added and crimped tightly. The central shaft, where the motor will connect, is mounted with ultra-precise bearings. Each drum is tested for balance, roundness, and weight distribution. At full speed, a wobble of just one millimeter can mean disaster. Next comes the outer tub, the watertight shell that houses the spinning drum. It's molded from durable polymer using high-pressure injection molding machines. These tubs are built to resist heat, detergent chemicals, and tens of thousands of rotations. The inner drum is lowered into the outer tub with extreme care. Rubber gaskets and vibration dampeners are installed, sealing the unit from leaks and minimizing movement. Shock absorbers and springs are attached, preparing the module to handle every drop, spin, and shake. It's strong, silent, and perfectly balanced. This is the part that does the real work, and it must work flawlessly, for years on end. To spin a steel drum filled with soaked towels at over a thousand revolutions per minute, you need power. Silent, efficient, power. Enter the motor. It starts with copper. Enamel-coated wire is wound into precisely shaped coils, layer upon layer, forming the heart of the stator. This is the stationary part of the motor, responsible for generating the magnetic field that drives rotation. Once wound, the stators are baked in high-temperature ovens to harden the insulation and fix the coil geometry in place. The rotor, the spinning core is fitted with rare earth magnets that will interact with the stator's field. Together, they create a synchronized dance of magnetic pulses, spinning the drum without physical contact. At the core of its intelligence lies the control panel, a sophisticated interface powered by microprocessors and precision electronics. This is where every wash cycle begins and where human touch meets machine logic. Production starts with the creation of printed circuit boards or PCBs. These green boards, flat and bare at first, are rapidly populated with electronic components using high-speed pick-and-place machines. Thousands of resistors, capacitors, and integrated circuits are positioned with microscopic accuracy, far faster and more precisely than human hands could manage. Once the components are in place, the entire board moves through a reflow oven, where solder paste melts and solidifies to permanently bond every connection. After soldering, each board is subjected to a rigorous inspection process, including X-ray scanning and automated optical checks. 
to catch even the smallest faults invisible to the naked eye. Meanwhile, the plastic control panel, the part the user sees and touches, is fitted with buttons, dials, and LED indicators. Once merged with the circuit board, it forms a single intelligent unit that connects to the machine's wiring harness. This harness acts like a nervous system, linking the control panel to the motor, sensors, valves, and safety features. In advanced models, the control panel also houses Wi-Fi modules, enabling app connectivity, remote diagnostics, and voice assistant integration. Every function, temperature control, spin speed, cycle time, is now managed with software precision. Whether you're pressing a button or tapping your phone, the command travels instantly through this digital brain. Quietly and efficiently, it ensures every load is handled just right, transforming complex inner workings into a simple touch and making today's washing machines smarter than ever. Once all the core components are ready, the steel frame, inner drum, motor, control panel, and suspension system, it's time for final assembly. On the factory floor, a moving conveyor line carries each machine shell from one station to the next. Technicians and robotic arms work in perfect coordination, starting by mounting the tub and motor assembly into the chassis. Every bolt is torqued to exact specifications to ensure long-term durability and vibration control. Next, the control panel is wired and installed, linking the machine's sensors, motor, and valves through a central harness that acts like a digital nervous system. Water inlet valves, detergent drawers, drainage hoses, and electrical connections are added with precision. Finally, the door, often made from tempered glass and reinforced plastic, is mounted and aligned, ensuring an airtight seal. At each step, quality checks are integrated into the line. Sensors verify connections, torque tools track every bolt, and vision systems confirm proper placement of critical parts. Despite the complexity, the entire assembly process is incredibly efficient. On average, one complete machine rolls off the line every few minutes. It's a symphony of mechanics, electronics, and automation, bringing together dozens of individual parts to form one seamless, ready-to-use washing machine. Before any washing machine reaches a store or a home, it must prove itself. Through a series of rigorous tests designed to push every component to its limits, at the end of the assembly line, each unit enters the quality control zone, where it undergoes a simulated full cycle, water intake, washing, rinsing, spinning, and draining. This isn't just for show. Technicians and automated systems are monitoring every aspect in real time. Vibration sensors detect imbalances, ensuring the suspension and motor work in harmony. Thermal cameras scan the electronics for overheating. Sound sensors listen for irregular motor noise, while pressure gauges confirm water seals are tight. In a world that demands speed, this factory insists on perfection. Out of thousands of machines produced daily, only those that pass every test continue forward. The goal is clear. Zero defects, maximum reliability. Every beep, every cycle, every spin, it must work flawlessly, not once, but thousands of times over the years. That's the promise behind every machine that carries the factory's name. And if you've enjoyed this deep dive into how washing machines are built, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Top Discovery 4K for more incredible journeys inside the world's most advanced factories.